good morning aspirants in this session of meet the need we will see the trick to identify alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound product during an aldol condensation reaction okay so what is an aldol condensation reaction we'll see the characteristics of it so this is shown by aldehydes and ketones that have alpha hydrogen atom okay so this is very important point shown by aldehydes and ketones that have alpha hydrogen atom what is an alpha hydrogen atom alpha hydrogen atom is a uh, uh, hydrogen atom that is present on alpha carbon what how do you identify an alpha carbon so first uh, look at the functional group the carbon that is adjacent to the functional group is the alpha carbon and the hydrogen that is present on this uh, alpha carbon is called as the alpha hydrogen. Similarly, for cyclohexanone, there are two alpha carbons. Accordingly, you will have four alpha hydrogens. What is the reagent used for aldol condensation? It is carried out in the presence of a dilute base such as dilute NaOH or dilute KOH. What is a condensation reaction? Before going into aldol condensation, we have to know what is a condensation reaction. Okay. So, in organic chemistry, condensation reaction means two molecules combining together and during this process, it eliminates a neutral molecule. For example, water. Okay. In aldol condensation also, what happens? Two aldehydes or two ketones that have alpha hydrogen atom they combine together and they eliminate a neutral molecule namely water so this is a case of dehydration reaction so i have put the example of acetaldehyde acetaldehyde two molecules combine and they eliminate water to form this product so this is a alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound you will see that between alpha and beta carbons there is an alkene group so what is the trick to find identify product okay so as i told you it is a dehydration reaction and we are going to eliminate water molecule so what from where do the hydrogen comes and from where do the oxygen come for the water is shown here the alpha hydrogens and the oxygen of the carbonyl compound, they are eliminated to form the product. I will have, I will show you another example involving acetone. Okay. So I will write acetone in such a way that the carbonyl oxygen of one molecule and the alpha hydrogen atoms of another molecule are close together. Okay. If you write like this, then we can easily eliminate water. See, I have written in such a way that the oxygen and the hydrogens are close by. Now, just removing water, we can write the product along with the double bonds. C, double bond C, C, double bond O. CH3, H and CH. So, you will see that there is a double bond present between alpha and beta carbons. So, this is an example for alpha, beta, unsaturated carbonyl compounds. Okay, and when acetone is used, the product is as a general name and it is called as mesetyl oxide. Mesetyl oxide. So, mesetyl oxide is the condensation product of acetone. I will show you another example also. So, we have taken cyclohexanone. So, I am going to write cyclohexanone in such a way that carbonyl oxygen of one 
molecule is close to the alpha hydrogen of another molecule. So next step, what should I do? I should eliminate water. Okay. This is the water that is I'm going to eliminate. And then the rest of it I can write as the product. So this is the uh, alpha, beta, unsaturated product, carbonyl compound product for aldol condensation of cyclohexanone. So, so what are the steps you have to do? You have to write the compounds in such a way that the carbonyl oxygen of one molecule and the alpha hydrogen of another molecule are close by. So, you can easily eliminate water molecule to give the corresponding product. Okay. So, with this in mind, I want you aspirants to solve these two products. Okay. It is worth noting that these compounds have alpha hydrogen atom, whereas this does not have alpha hydrogen atom. And the product, what you get, is called as crossed aldol product. Thank you.